Two weeks ago, I had the opportunity of having two closed-door dialogue. It was closed-door because the participant requested to be closed-door, so that there was no press. And this will enable a free flow of ideas and exchange of opinion. And it is interesting to know that on these two dialogues, the most popular question asked was the Hudud and its impact on the non-Muslim in a multiracial country like Malaysia. And I have said very often that implementation of Hudud in a multiracial country will definitely have a negative impact on the non-Muslim. Legally, our position has been challenged and threatened. And I always give the example of a non-Muslim lady being raped by a Muslim man. Right now, they will be subjected to a civil court. But when you have hudud in place, then the Muslim alleged rapist will definitely ask to be subjected to hudud law. And under the hudud system, the poor lady who is the victim must produce four eyewitnesses. And these four eyewitnesses must reliable witnesses and must be Muslim. And you know that is impossible to produce. The other thing is joint venture with Muslims and non-Muslim. Right now, if there is any problem, it is subjected to civil law. But when Hudud, the Muslim will definitely opt for Hudud. And that's where it is a tremendous disadvantage to a non-Muslim. And the other thing we notice is slowly but surely, past leader is imposing on his Islamic values on non-Muslim. And this is obvious in Kalantan and Qatar. No alcohol, no gambling outlet, no concert, no cinema in public function, ladies and men should be separated. And now, yesterday we noticed that past leaders strongly objected to a bikini fashion show in Kuala Lumpur. And this is in a hotel, five-star hotel. Now in a multiracial country, we hope the past leader will accept that we have different sensitivity, different belief, and different teaching. If they feel that uh, this is degrading, they should not go. They should not prevent other people from going. More so when it is freedom that is promised in the Constitution. So we say very often that past would never give up its Islamic agenda. And Nick Aziz already say it is not just a political agenda, it is also a religious obligation that they as a devoted Muslim would have to fulfill. So this is a very strong warning to all non-Muslim that past when they implement Hudud will impact us negatively, will affect the whole nation, social economic development, the cultural, the economic and the political system in this country. Uh, thank you. We'll meet again.